Hi, I'm Philip with Stellar Lens Productions, and today I'm going to show you a little tutorial that explains how I lined up the uh, propellers on my helicopter video, which we're going to look at right now. Now, as you can see in this video, the uh, helicopter blades are spinning as they should on a helicopter. Um, what people have been running into in After Effects is uh, this problem. First, we're going to get the helicopter, which we can get from this site right here uh, called the Free 3D Models. You just come to the home screen, click on Aircrafts, and uh, there's the UH-60 helicopter that you can download. Um, once you have it downloaded, we're going to go into Element in After Effects, and we'll import um, the UH-60 OBJ. And so here's our helicopter. Now the problem we run into when trying to animate the propellers is um, the way that Kramer, Andrew Kramer tells us to do it is to shut off um, all the layers except for the propeller layer. Um, the only problem is that the propeller layer on this particular model is attached to these other parts. So if we were to spin this, it wouldn't spin by itself. And the spin point is somewhere in the center of the helicopter, causing this to rotate around strangely. So to get past this, we're going to have to go into 3D Studio Max. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to import that... 3D Studio Max file that came with the UH-60 helicopter download and uh, we'll say OK and then what we do in here is we want to save each part we want to animate separately as its own um, OBJ file so we're gonna start with the top blade and we're just gonna select all the parts we don't want and delete them until we are left with only the blade at that point we're gonna export and I've already done this with my new files here, so I've already done the body, propeller, and rear rotor. But when you're doing it, make sure you export as an OBJ, and uh, you'll call it propeller, and you'll hit save, and uh, I'll just hit yes for replacing. Um, export, and you can ignore the, the maps that it's looking for, and then hit done. Now you're going to do that with all these layers, so we can do uh, new... Um, We'll import the full uh, model again. And now we're going to do the same, only we're going to leave only the rear rotor. So we'll get rid of all these items here. And now we have just the rear rotor. And again, we're going to save, we're going to export it as an OBJ. So I've done this um, to where I got the body, the propeller, and the rear rotor all saved as separate OBJs. Once that's done, we're going to delete this model we imported and uh, we'll remove our unused materials. And then we can import what we just created. So here's the body, um, the propeller, and the rear rotor, which I just created. And now we all have these here. So let's set each one to a different group. So the rear rotor we'll put on group 3, the propeller will set on group 2, and the body will have on group 1. So when we hit OK, they all come into uh, After Effects here. And then if we use our World Transform, we can move them all at the same time uh, just to rotate them around and get them uh, facing the camera here. And then what we're going to have to do is we'll go into each group and we need to line up the propellers how we want them. So uh, starting with group two, um, we'll come into the movements and uh, we're going to move this over. And what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to skip through this because it takes a little while, but basically I'm going to move these into the correct position on the helicopter where I want them to be placed. Okay, once I have them lined up where I want them, now we can see that if I go into group two, which is the top propeller, and I go into the uh, particle look uh, rotation, I can now spin the y-axis and the center of the blade spins. So what we're going to do is we're going to alt-click the y-axis and uh, down here we're going to type in time times and let's uh, say something like 1200. And what's that that's going to do is make these uh, blades spin. Now I have uh, the uh, enabling the uh, motion blur already checked for the layer. So um, now as we scroll through, we get the effect that that's spinning uh, extremely quickly. And then so we'll do the same thing with group three where we have the rotor. 
um, and on this one it's the x-axis that's turning and so we'll alt click that and we'll go time times uh, we'll do 1200 again and so now both of these animate um, as they uh, as we scroll forward so now we can uh, back out with our camera a little bit and uh, we can do a quick test of this by um, coming into world transform where now um, it'll move all the layers uh, at the same time and so uh, so if we want to do a little animation here we'll click all these and uh, and the positions as well will uh, come forward and you know we'll give it a little bit of a tilt uh, a little bit of a turn and uh, pulling up and uh, we'll, uh, moving it a little to the edge here and uh, up and out of the scene um, so then when we come in and we play forward our helicopter uh, moves uh, and the blades will spin uh, completely and uh, that is how we connect the blades uh, using 3D Studio Max and separating the layers um, with a little work. You can position them where you need to. Use the world transform to keep them all together. And my name, once again, is Philip uh, with Stellar Lens Productions. If you have any further questions regarding this tutorial or any other way to do anything um, that you've seen that I've done, um, let me know and I'll try to make a tutorial or I'll try to answer your questions below.